Okay, welcome back. This is the T-Rex 550X assembly. I am currently looking at the main rotor head. We take a look here. On page 7, I am showing the links that go between the swash plate and the rotor head. And they give you a couple different measurements here. The most critical one, though, is 57.5 millimeters from center of the ball link to center of the ball link. So this is the dead center on these link ends. The, the easiest way is to actually use these measurements because you can get some small variations in the plastic sizing. So if we go on the collars or the plastic piece, um, the 27 millimeters can be off a little bit. So it's easier to use the 57.5 uh, end to end here. I've got an old servo duplicator from Hobby Taiwan from years ago that I don't actually trust the measurements on because the ball links are installed kind of funny. But I have a digital caliper here. It's set at pretty close to 57.5, 57.49. And if I line this up, it's pretty much dead center on these ball links. So I know I can use this to actually set up each of the links. One other thing I've determined over time is the links are a little bit hard to get started. The actual threading of the links themselves. Um, one trick you can use, I'm going to grip this with my ball link pliers. I'm going to take a standard 3 by 10 millimeter bolt here and I'm going to use my power driver to slowly thread the plastic inside this link nice and slow. What that did is essentially cut some threads into that link. And I'm going to do that and repeat this for the other link. Then we'll go ahead and put one together. Key here is not to go too fast and overheat this because you can generate a lot of heat in a quick amount of time here. I'm going to take this nice and slow. Drive this bolt back out. Then I take one of the actual links it would be pretty straightforward to get that started here. Okay, now I can grip the link with the ball link pliers here. And start threading this down. Repeat the same for the opposite side. Keep pressure in as you're starting to thread this on so the thing properly takes threads. Once we get in part way, I can take one of my driver ends here. We'll begin threading this. We'll see about what your critical reference points here are to get this initially set up right. The reinforcement collar is back out of the way. Okay, I'm actually just a little bit short here, so I'm going to lengthen this back out a couple turns. Okay, that is very close. We'll be close enough here to if I s sitting on top of the ball links very nicely. That is close enough to get us on with the fly barless setup. As we zero the head, we'll probably have to turn this a half a turn or maybe a turn. But the important point here, we're at about 57.5 between the um, the ends here. I'll create another link exactly the same as this, and then we're ready to move on.